Hello, and welcome to Wormwood Institute News Network. Another day of triumph here at our blessed institute. Once again, as always, let's take a moment to recite the word of Wormwood. That always gives you the energy I need to keep on winning. Right as always. <laughs> uh. Now, for very important news, the official Wormwood Wardrobe and Cosmetic Board has recently updated the dress code. They always keep our campus fresh with their hot new looks. Yes. We here at Wormwood are always striving for excellence, and that begins at appearances. For too long, we have compromised on some of our policies, and we intend on holding our fine students to a higher standard. The student dress code now requires the girl's fingernail length to be at maximum 1.8 millimeters beyond the fingers and the toenail length to be 0.6 millimeters past the toe. Our past maximum fingernail length of 2 millimeters and toenail length of 0.9 is long overdue for an update. Today's standards of appearances have evolved, and so should we. Nail clippers will be provided by the nurse's office. Boys' fingernail length limit of 1.4 and toenail length of 0.8 will remain the same. The board really nailed that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and now I think it's time for Keenan with the weather. Well guys, it's looking pretty bad out here. Uh, it is just pouring everywhere, everything is just drenched in water. I wouldn't suggest anyone go out in these conditions. Uh, but if you do, I would keep an umbrella on you at all times. Back to you. Wow, really bring up a storm out there. In other news, as a follow-up to my recent appointment as Student Council President, I will address some of the problems I aim to tackle. Very exciting. How lucky are we to have such a strong, devoted student leader? All this after an, an important safety PSA from the principal himself. Life at Wormwood Institute is worryless and engaging. With so many resources and activities, there is little to no need to venture outside of campus. Yet, every so often, a difficult non-team player will leave campus and get themselves into trouble. We have protective barriers for a reason, and students shouldn't worry themselves with outside affairs. Additionally, there have been sightings of a slanted man wandering in the outer forest at night. Do not leave your dorm room at night and do not approach this man. He has been described as being above average height and unusually slanted to one side. Stay within the campus at all times and you will be safe. Venture outside and you may just meet the slanted man. Well, I'm certainly creeped out. Yes, and I'm sure glad we have such an effective and caring campus security. I, for one, will definitely be staying inside the fence, as should you. Yes, and as student body president, I will make sure our campus is always safe. By reinforcing our aged fencing and better equipping the campus guard. Just some of the many improvements I plan on making at this great institute. Wow, I sure am thrilled. We are under the leadership of such a caring person. 
Increasing the daily sugar intake, expanding the allowed colors to be worn, allowing students to say D-A-R-N, I will be a leader for the students whilst maintaining this institute's sacred standards. Definitely looking forward to a more colorful campus. And I will talk to the principal themselves about what? this. What? I will address these changes to the principal himself. Isn't our president a great? <laughs> Very much looking forward. And I, someday, I want the rest of our students to be able to talk to him as well. All right. Great show tonight. <laughs> Keep on winning.